Changing from an MVP to a president is not easy. But moving forward is even harder. Moving forward is not simply stepping out. In the beginning of this semester, we faced difficulties in promoting anti-social measures. The wildfire burned on Facebook, PTT, and even on newspapers. It was a catastrophe. The first three weeks of this semester, I was bombarded with phone calls, reporters, and dialogues on Facebook. It was the most terrifying thing I have ever experienced. During the journey, obstacles came out like a monster blocking your way, or like an assassin, hurting you from nowhere. I realized that I was not a brave man whom I faced problems I used to escape. But when I see PRVP team standing up front and set on to fix this, the crisis without hesitation, I, my heart was filled with courage. So I got rid of my cowardice and kept moving on. Thank you, Jerry, for leading PRVP team and generating new ideas and designs to make our club work more efficiently. And we did survive from this disaster because of you. And also, I want to thank Amy, Eve, April, Michelle, Jacqueline, Bill, Richard, Claire, and Mark for giving a hand when the promotion problem came out. Thank you. And thank you, David, David, for shooting the perfect promotion film. Thank you, Ellie, for your delicate posters and Facebook portraits. Thank you, Melody. Melody? Thank you, Melody. Here. Okay, thank you, Melody, for designing the cute leaflets and the cute table app. Thank you, Debbie Miller, for making our Facebook page filled with beautiful countdown pictures. Thank you, Hannah, for inviting the general evaluator and the language evaluator and making the meeting high quality. Thank you, Miller, for organizing the Azalea Festival and help Jerry search for his Miss Wright. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kenny, Melody, Danny, and Hannah for designing the elementary school project. Thank you, Miller, and Ellie for holding the design meeting and catering the buffet. On the journey, of life, we face obstacles and we have to fight. But whether to fight is not a question to me. The questions are why? Why do you fight? And what are we fighting for? For reputation, responsibility, or something called anti social measures? Whenever I came into a meeting room, there will be someone greeting me with a big smile and call me, Hi, Howard! Sometimes I was too busy to reply, so I could only wave my hands and focus on my work again. It's tiny, tiny thing, but it means that I belong to here. And you remember me! And everything is clear now. It is for protecting the smiles, the smiles that I want to see on every Friday night. Those who deserve my efforts without concerning any cost. Yes, all of you. And there is a group of people running with this schedule, with little attention from other people. The EVP team. I want to thank them. They work perfectly. Without them, we could never have perfect meetings, SGGs, and speeches we enjoy. Thank you, Sammy, for leading the EVP team and making the atmosphere harmonious. I will miss you a lot after you go to the UK. Thank you, Rita, Joyce, and Sherry, for writing the blog. I learned so much from your blog post. The articles are like a gold mine and you post maps. Thank you, Jay and Maggie, for making the agendas and the sheet. 
Thank you, Julia and Kevin, for hosting the Oscar Award ceremony. Thank you, Maggie, Thank you. for holding a measurement platform and activities in Dimension. Thank you, Rita and Joyce, Kevin, for bringing us fun games before the SGD. Thank you, Rita, Julia, and Sammy, finding people to fill up the position every meeting. We move forward, we fight, we are together on this journey. However, the reality is not happy as expected. Sometimes we have to give up something to go further. Life is like a rocket, flying up to the sky. But when we are flying, we have to drop some things. Otherwise, it will be too heavy to carry. But there is one thing that we can never give up, dreams. We see things in different ways. We came to Toastmasters for different purpose. But we have one thing in common. We dream of being inspired, exploring our potentiality, and having lifelong friends to share laughs and tears together. One day, when we leave, there are people whom we can hug, cherish, and promise to gather again in the future. I want to thank MVP team because they made NTU Toastmasters a more family. Memberships combines a memory and a ship. It means that everyone are on the same ship. Without your work, we can never bond with each other so tightly. Thank you, Stephen. Stephen? Thank you, Stephen, for leading MVP team and bringing us to Taiwan Secret Day and to train officers. <laughs> Strong bodies. <laughs> I believe that you can and you will become a good leader in the future. Thank you, Angel, Peggy, and Charlie for organizing the opening gathering. Thank you, Peggy and Ting Han, for hosting a picnic day. Thank you, David, Frank, <laughs> Charlie, and Angel for holding a wonderful meeting outing with joyful atmosphere. Thank you, David and Charlotte, for bringing us to a second gallery at the bar. It was really successful. Thank you, Peggy and David, for hosting the farewell gathering. We had so much fun. Thank you, Tim Ha, for designing the beautiful invitations and cards in the farewell gathering. And thank you, Harry. Harry is not here. <laughs> for making such a commemorative meal play in the farewell gathering. In the farewell gathering, everyone sits relaxedly in a humanity space, dancing in We ate, we chatted, and we played games as usual. Peggy and David were the hosts, laughing happily on the stage. In Han, Angel, and Charlotte were busy dealing with the cars. And I saw many old friends who was away for a long time, like Kevin Huang, Denver, Yu Tian, etc. Everyone was energetic as usual. Though the truth is, we might never see each other afterwards. On that night, no one cried. Why? Is it because that we are emotionless or we are cold-blooded? No. It is because NTU Toastmasters is our home and we are free to come back. When we leave, our hearts are full of wonderful memories, not sorrow. And we can fly and aim for bigger dreams. On the journey, we walk on our own, but it will be much harder without a legacy from previous generations. Thank you, Bill, Joyce, Sarah, Joy, Emma, Richard, and Ivan. Also, I want to thank all the senior members who stood by us wherever we need. 
And thank you, Kevin and Beth. Thank you, Kevin, for building the money and the membership fee. It is tiny, but it is very, very important. And thank you, Beth, for dealing with the Postmasters International Headquarters. And taking notes in our weekend meeting and gave us so many wonderful workshops. This semester, most of the past MVP deputies who have served as the MVP were not officers because they have their own life plan. Although it's a bit late, although they may not hear, I still want to convey my thankfulness to all the past MVP deputies. Sophia, Frank, Maggie, Peggy, Eric, Sherry, and Amy, and Stephen. Without your help, I wouldn't have the chance to stand here. The time was Chao Zan Chao Zan MVP. <laughs> was so crazily wonderful. I, every morning, I could always come up with new messages, always stickers and emoticons. <laughs> now, it's, it's not important to our officer team, but it is important to build a close net with all of you. I think moving forward is not abandoning the old days, but making it into the nutrition of my spirit, of our spirit. <laughs> After this semester, many of our friends will be here. And I know it's hard to get over from nostalgia and departure, including me. But I want to share a poem I like a lot with you. It's in Chinese. When you have a friend, you have a friend. 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 You have a I believe business makes our heart float. I hope that one day, no matter where we are, when we see the same moonlight on a lonely night, and we will think of each other. When we recall the precious memories, we can smile with content, not sorrow. Sometimes we just let the time go by without noticing. We take everything for granted. We never thought of that maybe this might be the last time for us to see the friends who sit next to you. Ironically, the moment when you that realize that you want them is when you are about to die. The only moment when you realize that you once belong to a home is when you are about to leave. The moment when you really realize that you were once a president of such an adorable club. It is when you are about to retire. <laughs> My grandma told me that life is to take it up and to put it down. Everyone knows that taking up is not easy. But putting down the heavy loads is even harder because they are like the gravity of my life. But now, I understand the true meaning of these 168 days. It is not sunny days always. Meaning comes from accumulation, from one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Here we are, 168 days. I understood why I made this decision. One day, when I face obstacles, when I face darkness, when I lose myself, I can look at these sweet 168 days. It is sweet because it has an end. Because the story shall end at the most beautiful moment. This is the root of my soul. Farewell, my dear friends. The journey from December 26, 2014 to June 12, 2015 comes to an end. But the journey of our lives goes on.
tomorrow. All the new officers, it's your show time. It's your show time. This semester, we detect something in Toastmasters to make Toastmasters to become more educational. So we added an educational session and we more made emphasis on educational functions. To make the weekly meeting process more smoothly, we cooperated with several tasks which were originally separated and we shortened sometimes in our, in our meeting. Also, we added more options and we innovated the impromptu speech sessions. We found the new places for meeting like Global Lounge here and the College of Engineering. What's more, we successfully transformed the officer training into a three day long trip and making the officers think when to attend instead of very tiring. Last, we put an overall survey on club members for collecting more opinions and suggestions. So far, just to brief some policies. Although we did many things, we still have rooms to improve. And I'm very confident that under Sherry's tyranny, no, under Sherry's leadership, you can tackle with other challenges. Just remember to grab the active opportunities and to seek for chances to make NTU Toastmasters a better place. And I'm looking forward to your age. That's all.